Hello everybody, it is me, Jurassic Master, here to say that uh, today we're going to be breaking down this episode. Holy cow, was there a lot. So I want to first mention that uh, if you pause it, we get two images this time. We get Roxanne Wolf and Glamrock Chica. We're going to talk about Roxanne Wolf first. So it looks like this might be a withered version of Roxanne Wolf. Possibly, I don't know. This might just be it glitching. I don't know, but the second image is uh, Glamrock Chica, and that one is for sure the Wizard version, which we kind of already knew about. I want to talk about this. Bonnie's got full static and doesn't talk, which is kind of funny. And yeah, what else was there? Is there anything else? Also, the quality of the video went down. Watch, look at this. This is episode one. This is episode two. And this is episode three. Quality went down a bit. I don't know if that's a coincidence. Probably not. It's probably not a coincidence. What am I saying? But yeah, we got that, which was... I don't know if that's hinting at spring glitch trap coming through the code and reaching out of literally our screen i don't know but i don't know it seems weird i feel like eventually we're gonna get it into like black and white <laughs> and it's just gonna be not clear at all okay so let's talk about this end part what is this well i have some theories my current i am gonna give you three theories my last theory is going to be the one that I support the most, and I think most likely it is. My first theory, I thought it was uh, all the. I first, I thought it was William Afton himself, of like kind of his first phase of like, all right, let's try out this phase. It didn't work, but the only reason why I don't think it's this air quotes this is because in the trailer we got a while back, we got. Springtrap, or what's supposed to look like Springtrap, reaching his hand out and doing that. But why would he switch in the middle of a game? Doesn't make sense. I would understand possibly between games. So, I don't know. My second theory was it was all of the Glamrock animatronics, or all of the, or the Moon animatronic and the Sun animatronic. But I looked at the hands of the moon animatronic and the sun animatronic. They did not really... It doesn't really match up of how it looks. This looks like Mickey Mouse hands. And so and then I was thinking, oh my... And my third and final theory is this is basically Mangle. But it's not Mangle. I think this thing is... Air quotes, kind of not supposed to be here not supposed to be seen by the public. I think this thing, whatever it is, is in the sewers, where we saw Glamrock Chica and her face getting destroyed. I think whatever happened to Glamrock there, I think that's what happened here. I think this is just like a sewer version of Mangle. Also, in the trailer, we got to see a while back, the trailer we got a while back, we got to see a scene where we're in the sewers, which I felt very, felt like was very odd and strange. I think this is what we're going to have to be dealing with when we're down in the sewers. That's my kind of current working theory. But it looks cool. All I see is a giant spider. It also has six legs, and I counted Mangle's legs to see, is this Mangle? Mangle has three. It's, so, I don't know. And we don't see the head at all. Like We just see the legs. This looks like a giant spider. I wouldn't be that surprised if it is just like a giant spider music man looking thing. Which is going to be interesting because I don't... I My working theory at the moment is just it's a sewer mangle. Sue mangle. <laughs> the sewer version of mangle. That's my kind of working theory. But let me know what you think. Uh, yeah, uh, that's all I have to say. Hello, editing Jurassic Master here again. Just wanted to say that uh, I didn't mention the due date. Now, I have it in the thumbnail, I know, but it looks like more and more the due date is going to be around Christmas time, 
which doesn't make sense from a marketing standpoint because like if you're gonna have all of your FNAF stuff around Christmas time, what are you gonna do for the rest of the time? Of like, do you have another like? Do you have another game ready? To, like, there's not gonna be very much between that time. So, I don't. I for me, I would think I would wait and just like put it off. But unless they they might have it that they have another game ready, and I don't know, like. The reason why Security Breach took so long, so long was that we were working on that and another game. So here you go. A couple months later, you get this next game. But reality is, I don't think that's how it's going to go. So we're probably going to get basically nothing for like a while after this Security Breach. Which I'm fine with, but I know a lot of people are going to be like, Where's, where's, where's FNAF stuff? Where's all it going? Like, I'm saying they need to release it around springtime because that's when all their FNAF stuff goes out. But yeah, I don't know. That's just my opinion. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Holy cow, we're almost at 100 subscribers. This is crazy. I was not expecting this. I have a, I have a SFM, FNAF SFM song that I'm going to do and a meme and a secret surprise that will be happening. In the meme, I will, you'll see, if you watch the meme, you will understand what I mean, but yeah, FNAF song, when we hit 100, uh, I'm not going to give a sneak peek, because I want it to be a surprise, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, it means so much to me, took the time out of your day to watch this video, and remember, um, Erasers, Lighthouse, Chalkboard, Woo